Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will discuss about depreciation in both ECC and S4 HANA. Already I have prepared uh, how to create asset master, how to purchase the asset through finance, how to purchase the asset through logistic. If you have not checked those videos, you can follow these links. Depreciation is one of the most critical month end activities under your SAP FI, particularly related to asset accounting. And here we are going to discuss the depreciation process, calculation process, execution process, both in ECC and S4 HANA and we will do a comparison between these two applications because in both case or in both applications as a part of your month and activities depreciations will be there. Now let's understand how depreciation actually works or that is the depreciation posting. So depreciation as we know that in accounting is very important from the finance point of view. So depreciation is the systematic allocation of your asset as we are going to use the asset in our day to day operation. So this is our reduction of your asset value and we know that it is charged against your prof as we are going to use that asset in the business obviously we need to uh, deduct something from the profit so that in future we are we are going for a replacement of assets so that is why depreciation we are calculating and when we will calculate the cost of production they are also we are going to consider the depreciation so depreciation should be component of your fi of course that means part of your pnl Plus, depreciation also need to be transferred to your cost of production calculation as one of your cost component through one cost object. So when user is going to run the depreciation program, in many applications they are manually posting the depreciation whereas in ECC and S4 HANA of SAP. So here user is going to run the depreciation program and that I will show you today how to run the depreciation then we will see the output as well. So we know that depreciation accounting entry. So the accounting entry will be uh, depreciation account is going to debit this one is your p and l items so this one is going to debit and we are not going to directly deduct the value from the asset so we are going to credit the accumulated depreciation so we know that the current year depreciation or current month depreciation you may say this one is your p and l account or your expense account this is your current year or current period depreciation and this one is your carry forward balance means accumulated accumulated for multiple years or multiple periods you can say so this will be our accounting entry now uh, in S4 HANA this depreciation is also part of your universal journal or it is part of your AC docket table that is uh, the actual depreciation not the plant depreciation we will see that comparison too. So depreciation or when we will calculate the depreciation many uh, factors are involved here like depends on your depreciation key because on the basis of your depreciation key or your depreciation method the system is going to calculate the depreciation. Uh, useful life of the asset that is also important base value your uh, period control method your scrap value all these important areas on that basis system is going to calculate the depreciation so once the depreciation is going to be posted then we we can't run it again that means for one particular period if let's say depreciation is already posted then for the same period we will not able to run it unless we if we are going to reverse the depreciation in some situations maybe we have to reverse the depreciation and once again after the modifications we have to run it or we have to post it again but once it is posted or once it is executed you can't run for the same period once again now if you if you are going to compare the depreciation in both ECC and S4 HANA when we are going to run the depreciation in ECC so here we are going to follow two steps so one will be your FAB transaction code we are going to use and F BN transaction code we are going to use. Through FAB we are going to execute the depreciation and through FABN we are going to repeat run or we are going to re uh, restart the depreciation. So now I'm going to show you the ECC screen for depreciation posting and let's see how what will be the output. So in both system we are going to use the same transaction code that is AFAB. So I'm going to enter here AFAB and through navigation depreciation is one of your period end activities. So if you'll navigate the system then you will find this one under your FI and particularly under fixed asset period processing you will find the depreciation posting depreciation run and we will use the transaction code AFAB. So here you are going to select multiple things like you are going to select the company code and uh, you will find your which period you are going to run the depreciations and you can see uh, here we have an option that is reason for posting run so in different situations we have to different radio buttons we have to select as per the need now uh, in EC system I'm trying to run the depreciation program so I will take here one company code Z200 and financial year I'm taking 2025 and the current period I'm going to take here I'm following April to March reporting so we are in December of 2025 so my current period will be uh, 9 
nine and i'm going to select here plant depreciation means which is our monthly depreciations and i will select here list of assets and let's execute it so it is uh, i'm trying to run here on test run and execute let's see the outcome now in this way i'm not getting any result here when i'm trying to run the depreciation in ec system and uh, let's see the pro uh, error here in this program so here it's showing that i'm trying to run the depreciation for ninth period now in this company code i have so far not executed any depreciations that means from the first period i have not executed the depreciation which is from april so that is why i'm not able to directly run the depreciation for ninth period now in this case i have two choice either i'm going to open the previous period and i will open previous period means i will first open the first period then second period third period and every period or every month i need to run the depreciation so here it is illogical right so why we should go for the previous period and we will run the depreciation if it is not executed now in this case in ec system we have the option that we can go for unplanned depreciation so if i will run unplanned depreciation i assume that this month only we acquired the asset so that's why the previous period depreciation values will not be there but since system is not allowing me to run the depreciation if i will go for plan depreciation until unless i will not run the program for my previous period right so here i will select here unplanned posting run and i can execute now and here i can see the result will be there for different assets whatever you have the asset so here i have two assets machine one and machine two and i can see the values if i am okay with this depreciation postings then i can go for the final run but in s4 hana this process is no longer available i mean they are also we are going to use the same transaction code afab but this uh, radio buttons you will not find okay so now i'm going to switch to s4 screen and you will see the comparison between your s in s4 and that we will compare with your ecc switch to s4 so i'm going to use the same transaction code afab and if you will follow the navigation exactly will find it is the same but the uh, program is completely different now it is supported with your new depreciation program which we are saying that depreciation engine in s4 hana so i will go to fixed assets and here we will go to periodic processing and you will find the uh, same transaction code afab but you can see that radio button options are no more available okay so once again if you check the ecc screen one step back and you can see these radio buttons i am talking about the reason for posting runs whereas in s4 system these are no more available so you can see here these radio buttons are no more available that means now our system is smart enough to decide what depreciation we are trying to post okay so if i am going to run the depreciation here in directly in any period so there will be absolutely no problem okay and here we can add the accounting principles we want like we can uh rest of the things like you can see uh financial year i'm going to add the period here i'm following jan to december so december will be my 12th period and uh, the reason postings and all not required so directly we can run a depreciation for any period without having the uh, previous executions also okay and i'm going to run here so let's again in test run let's see now here uh, as we are okay with the test run now i can go for the final run that is the actual depreciation for this period and uh, we can go for parallel depreciation areas that means automatically once i will go for posting run you can see many depreciation i have two depreciation areas depreciation areas for one and depreciation area 10 so one is for my book depreciation and 10 for my tax valuation point of view and once i will execute automatically will find that depreciation will be posted and the value will find against your fi entry and against your cost object so here i have linked cost center in asset master because this cost i will include it in my cost of production calculations now here one uh, important thing is there and particularly this is related to s4 hana because in s4 hana we know that actual depreciation is coming from the ac docket table but if we'll go to uh, your asset explorer or you can check here uh, either you check asset explorer or you check here the fury uh, asset value the fury application so here we will see that the plant depreciation right now it's showing because for this month depreciation actually not posted so let me take here one depreciation uh, sorry one asset that is asset number 1000 and check here okay so for current period you will see that right now it is coming as planned depreciation okay so last month depreciation 11th period depreciation already posted and 12th period depreciation is planned depreciation now the next question is that from where we are getting this planned depreciation and this one you can say that one of the change in your 
यूनिवर्सल जर्नल और इन एस वोहाना सो इन एस वोहाना द प्लान डेप्रिसिएशन इज ऑब्वियसली इट इज नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम द ए सी डॉके टेबल ऑल दो डेप्रिसिएशन इज पार्ट ऑफ योर ए सी डॉके टेबल बट आफ्टर पोस्टिंग वंस द एक्चुअल ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी पोस्टेड दैट यू विल फाइंड अगेंस्ट योर ए सी डॉके टेबल बट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट हाउ दिस प्लान डेप्रिसिएशन इज कमिंग right so what are the new process here so here we have a new table is available and that is known as your plan table or particularly it is our fat underscore plan underscore values so the moment we are going to have one asset you will find that automatically system is going to update this fat table and uh, the moment we will post any transactions this table is getting updated now for this particular company code if i will see the fat table you will find that fat table is updated for all the depression all the for this company code one only one month left so uh, still let, let me check that one so if i will check that particular table fat underscore plan underscore values so here you will find the plan depreciation okay and uh, i will take here company code z801 okay and here you can see the depreciation for all periods unfortunately it is for last period for us so that's why you will find only 12th period is there but assume that let's say uh, we are following april to march reporting and uh, right now we are in december so you will find that not only for december you will find for january february march january february march for all this you will find the fat table data will be there so that means all your uh, plan data you will find it here let me show you in another company code so maybe there we will get the values so let me take here the company code z701 let's see here here i think following uh, april to march yeah you can see here so here it's a uh, ninth period depreciation is coming that is december so for december the depreciation is not posted so that is coming plus 10 11 12 that means january february march that data is also coming here so always you will find the plan depreciations are part of this table and because of that your calculation process is super easy it is much more faster than your acc so back to our company code z801 and i am going to run the depreciation for this period okay and once we will execute it for all assets the posted the current period depreciation you will find the posted value and that you will find in the ac doc okay. so once we will execute the depreciation program you will find this line will move from this table that means your uh, plant data so for all assets so here asset we have multiple assets are there asset 1000100123 all assets uh, all period depreciation means 12 period depreciation will move to the ac doc okay. and this will be the plant data and for this month there will be or next month onwards you will not find any values because this is the closing month for this company code so i'm going to run the actual depreciation for s4 hana so i just remove the test run and we will go for background processing background processing is there in both case uh, whether it is ecc or s4 in both case it is the same background processing and execute now i'm going to refresh the table so fat table and see the output nothing so 12 month depreciation or 12th period depreciation posted so this period we don't have values and we will see this uh, update in your uh, uh, asset explorer let's refresh it okay and check the posted informations and it is posted so 12th period depreciation which was planned data so it is posted and one more uh, one more change you will find that the fbl 3n is not going to update because you will only get in against your gl value so if i will check that one so i'm going to check fbl 3n for my current month depreciation suppose okay let i need to check the gl account for depreciation posting now check no data because here ac docket table only updated not the bsec and the fbl 3n is coming from the bsec table now i'm going to check gl view for the gl report okay and there we will check the same gl account 4012 not 13 and check 
and you can see the output so last month data is there 30th november and current month data so we have two machines so that's why two lines are available then one building this is again last month data this is current month data and uh, computer also so computer point of view we have two computers there so two transactions are already posted through acquisition entry because of that it is coming here so now this data is coming from the ac docket table let's confirm so one document is 3001 current one document so let me check because fat table is already zero or nil so now we will check in ac docket table z801 and document number is 3001 this document the last month one i'm not referring current month 3001 so you can see here that uh, depreciation is already posted and uh, the what should be the accounting entry so accounting entry should be depreciation account debit and accumulated depreciation account credit let's check one document so this is your depreciation account this line having the cost object cost center we will see the cost center too so this is our cost line that is your current month depreciation so this is the entry depreciation account debited and accumulated depreciation credit so this line is your balance it account in both case profit center will be there but this line having the cost object okay and this data is coming from the ac docket table or actual depreciation is coming from the ac docket table so wherever the coin you will find that is nothing but your cost object line let's check the cost center report too for this depreciation okay and uh, the gl accounts was four zero four zero double one four zero one two four zero one four okay so it is available current one depreciation is available so this is your co output this one is your fi output and the source is what source is your ac docketable coin means obviously the cost object or cost center is uh, uh, it, it is like available in this particular line items if you want to reverse a depreciation, so how to reverse a depreciation in both in ECC and s ana So sometimes your client is going to ask you that we have to change something or we have to reverse a depreciation if something goes wrong or some wrong calculations are there. So in that case, in ECC, you are going to use a B08 transaction code for the reversal FI document. And then after that, you, you need to run the AFABN. Uh, in ECC whereas in S4 HANA we are just going to run the uh, transaction code AB08 that is your reversal document and it will be done so depreciation automatically reset in your AC docket table okay and uh, in not like your ECC first we have to reverse it and we will go for repeat run it's not required okay so the, in this process is also comparatively better in our S4 systems and reporting point we will see after running the depreciation always we have to evaluate uh, we need to validate that using the report so in ecc we are going to follow aw01 report which i already have shown to you and in s4 hana along with uh, your aw01 or we have the uh, fury application is available that is your asset value which i was showing that time so here you are going to get so aw01 will be there obviously in s4 plus we can also access through the fury because it is the cloud functionalities option we have okay so this is how it is much more benefit in our s4 so in every aspect we have seen that whether it is acquisition whether it is related to uh, depreciation so s4 is much better than your ecc so that's why companies are moving from ecc to s4 hana so if you are going to summarize in ecc we are using two transaction code one is your afab and afabn whereas in s4 hana we are using afab transaction code your plant depreciation till the time the actual depreciation is not executed it is part of your fat table and once the current month depreciation or once the actual depreciation will be executed then that time actual depreciation will be part of your ac docket table or your universal journal so s4 hana post the universal or in s4 hana we are going to have the actual depreciations so in s4 there is no reconciliation issues okay depreciation posting is much more faster cleaner and it is available in the real time already we have seen that one and troubleshooting will be much easier than your ecc because of your universal general or single source of truth so if you have any query feel free to add in the comments i will reply on that in our next video we will see related to asset acquisition through internal or that is auc process through internal asset acquisition see you soon bye